Today, we'll discuss the highly anticipated GPT-5 model set to revolutionize AI, a possible collaboration between Apple and Meta. Let's start with GPT-5. According to OpenAI's chief technology officer, Mira Marathi, GPT-5 will be a game changer. Marathi likened earlier models like GP3 to having the intelligence of a toddler. GPT-3, while impressive, was still limited. GPT-4, however, was like a smart high schooler capable of handling more tasks. Excitingly, GPT-5 is expected to have PhD level intelligence for specific tasks, which sounds like a huge leap forward. How is this achieved? Mira Murati attributes it to a combination of neural networks, vast amounts of data, and significant computing power, the key ingredients for deep learning. Deep learning, driven by neural networks, abundant data, and strong computing power, enables AI to learn complex patterns and improve performance over time. This potent combination is what will make GPT-5 a game changer, as explained by Mira Murati. She notes that AI systems are already performing at human levels in certain tasks and will continue to advance. As for GPT-5's release, Mira Murati suggests it may arrive sooner than expected. Though no official date has been announced, the excitement is palpable. This rapid progress also sheds light on predictions that we could achieve AGI by 2027, making the anticipation even greater. Given GPT-5's potential to advance us closer to AGI, Opinions on this progress may vary. However, as Mira Murati stressed, the development process involves extensive research and testing to ensure GPT-5 safety and positive impact on society. OpenAI is focusing not only on enhancing AI capabilities, but also addressing ethical considerations. Mira Murati emphasized the importance of developing capabilities and safety measures in tandem a smarter AI is easier to manage, like a well-trained dog that follows commands better, making it safer to interact with. OpenAI recognizes the great responsibility that comes with advancing AI and is actively working on risk mitigation, such as predicting model capabilities even before full training is complete. OpenAI is also developing AI agents, systems that can connect to the internet, communicate and collaborate with humans. These agents, as Murati explained, have the potential to work together seamlessly and transform human technology interactions. By handling tasks independently, AI agents can liberate our time for more creative pursuits, significantly impacting industries like finance, healthcare, and customer service. GPT-5's advanced capabilities will further intensify this impact. Despite the potential job displacement concerns accompanying technological advancements, Mira Murati acknowledges that new jobs will emerge. The focus should be on integrating AI systems into workflows, enhancing productivity. However, the full extent of AI's impact on employment remains uncertain, as it's still early in the development process. The buzz about a potential partnership between OpenAI and Apple was quite something. Reports suggested that Apple was looking to bring AI features like OpenAI's ChatGPT to its devices. It was an interesting move for Apple, considering it has been working on its own AI program for some time. It seems like the company was aiming to stay competitive in the rapidly evolving AI landscape. However, recent reports indicate that Apple may have rejected the idea of partnering with Meta, so the situation is still unfolding. Recent reports indicate that Apple is considering integrating external generative AI models such as Meta's into Apple Intelligence, its AI suite unveiled at WWEC TWR. This approach would echo Apple's App Store model, enabling users to customize their AI experiences by choosing from a variety of third-party applications. Uh, the potential collaboration between Apple and Meta could lead to greater versatility and personalization for Apple's customers as they select AI models that best suit their individual needs. Make sure to subscribe for more updates and don't miss out on the next episode. Thanks for joining us today.